Welcome back to Central Valley Talks, The Wedding Show. I'm Hope Roski, and here today we have with us Ramza Corey. And Rams is here to talk about real estate, but real estate dealing with subdivisions and moving yourself a little bit more maybe out of the Fresno area and why that's such a great value. I'd also like to, little, to know a little bit more about you and how you got started in real estate. Well, when I first moved from Orange County to the Central Valley, two things caught my attention. First of all, smaller towns felt like home to me. So I would strongly recommend a smaller town. And uh, I wanted to go into real estate because honestly, there, at the time we had a really bad experience. Unfortunately, the person who represented us thought that we were young and ignorant. We were comparing prices between Orange County and the Central Valley. We ended up with a bad deal. And that kind of left us stranded. And I decided to go into real estate to make sure this does not happen to my clients. And I believe because I work from my heart, um, I became very successful. My clients trust me even though I wasn't from the Central Valley originally, but they felt that I genuinely advised from my heart. I would not sell them something that I personally would not purchase. I think that's a wonderful thing because going in as a first time home buyer, especially a young couple feels very anxious and they want to have and feel a sense of warmth and security and trust with who they're basically putting their daily life with, you know, in the home that they're buying, and that trust comes within from you. So you work with RPS Real Estate over in Kingsburg, correct? Um, I'm a partner and a broker associate, along okay. with Chris Rima and Steve Safarjan, who is our broker of record. So we have three offices, our um, Selma, Kingsburg, and Visalia. Oh, okay, so you have three locations down in the South Valley. That's yes. wonderful. So I know that you have a feel for being wanting to be in a smaller town. Tell me about the growth that's happening out in the South Valley because I know things were slow and now they're booming again. So what's yes. happening in the South Valley? Why is that a good place for younger, younger couples to start to look? Well, the, the feel of a small town for a new family is amazing. Your neighbors get to know you. Uh, it's nice to live in a small town. You know your school district, you know where your kids are going, uh, but mainly you get more banks for your buck. So if you're not wanting to start very big in a very big city uh, with the price that comes with that, going into a small town can basically make you a homeowner a lot sooner without you having to be home poor. So you'll be able still to live your life enjoy being a homeowner, having some extra money to spend, and not spend your life being a tenant paying your landlord's mortgage. And you know, that's really interesting because people say, oh, I, you know, I want to rent because maybe I don't want the responsibility, but what's happening is somebody else is getting the benefit, yes. and what you're doing is continuing to support your own endeavors. So that's interesting that you, I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of people are afraid to, you know, maybe make that move, but that's why you have things like home warranties. Why, it's, why would a home warranty be important, especially for a newly married couple? If they are uncertain about what the future is going to hide and they don't want to have to come up with a big ticket item, whenever you're buying a used home, there's always that risk. Your hot water heater could go out even though you got a home inspection when you first bought the house maybe six months down the road unfortunately the water heater breaks down or your ac breaks down those are big ticket items so if you have that worry a home warranty could give you the peace of mind that if something like that happened you're covered you call the home warranty there's a small fee to pay for that but it definitely gives you a peace of mind well what's nice is i know sometimes in negotiation a seller will actually purchase it yes for the new family coming in, which is, I think, a great negotiating tool to have. Absolutely. So, you know, with that being said, there are these new home developments. If somebody's to buy a new home in a subdivision, do they still have to buy a home warranty, or does, or what happens in regard to that? Because I think that home warranty piece is very important. Yes. Well, the new home gives you a peace of mind that, first of all, it's new. The life expectancy of a lot of the components are going to be a lot longer than a used home. Builders overall will pay for the home warranty. It is in general called a 210 home warranty. 
So it's cover, it covers your home for quite some time. Oh. And you can always extend it beyond that. The other misconception with new homes is that a lot of homeowners, a lot of home buyers believe that they're going to have to put a very large down payment uh, to, to get into a new home. Well, local lenders honestly have great programs for first time home buyers. You can get into a home without really needing to have a lot of money down or a perfect credit. Uh, in, my in my subdivision, for example, we use, G uh, we use Gold Standard Mortgage. They're a local lender. They've been really working with our clients to make sure they qualify. Even if they need a little bit of work, mm -hmm. they will work with them. So by the time the house is ready, their credit is ready as well to close that loan. So tell us a little bit about the subdivision where you are and why that might be a good option for first-time home buyers. Maybe anybody mm -hmm. else that's looking. Yes. Um, I work with G.J. Gardner Homes. We are currently in phase three for Vineyard Estates in Selma. That's off of Highland and Saginaw. We're still priced below market value, cheaper than used homes. And that's why I always emphasize if you go to the outskirts of Fresno, you'll be able to afford a brand new home with what, what you would have spent on a used home and much smaller. So let's say somebody is working in Fresno because that's the biggest, the greatest hub. If they're in Selma, how far do they have to really, what should they expect drive time to get in if they're going to the downtown area? So from Selma to the downtown area is really 20 minutes. Sometimes if you're living in Fresno to cross town, it'll take you about 30. I and can, I can testify. Yes. <laughs> I can testify. So maybe moving to some place where there's not a lot of traffic, you know, that's coming yes. in, you, you get a better drive experience. And that's good to yeah. know, too. So, for example, if you can do a comparison for me, you were saying to buy a newer home may cost less than buying a used home. Give me an, an idea of what that would look like, especially for somebody who just wants that fresh new look and they just want to drop the toothbrush and go right in. All right, so currently a 1,600 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, brand new in Selma, goes for 359, 359,000. Beside the fact that it's an excellent price per square foot, you do not have the high energy bills. So it comes with a solar system that cuts down significantly on your pg e That's wonderful right there. <laughs> the insulation and the dual pane windows, the quality that code currently makes it really cheap to have you know that solar system covers most of your bill that's also that's wonderful. insurance mm -hmm. is a lot cheaper on brand new homes because they come for with fire sprinklers so uh, insurance on a used home is a lot more expensive and of course you add in all the maintenance that comes with the used home that you do not have to worry about with a new home and that's always cheaper to buy a brand new house one of the things I just want to touch up before we go to commercial break is, you know, we talked about home inspections. Um, there are times that people will sell a house as is and others won't. What is the difference between buying a house as is or if then you go in and then you still have a home inspection or just not doing the as is? You have a home inspection and you see, oh my goodness, there's like $5,000 worth of work that needs to be done. How do you get involved as a realtor to still make that deal happen or is there a negotiation in price? So a seller always has the right to list their home as is. They can say, we don't wanna do repairs. It does not mean the buyer has to go in blindly. They still have the right to get their home inspection, their termite inspection, their roof inspection. They have 17 days to do that and decide based on the results if they want to continue or if they want to cancel. If they cancel within those 17 days, they are entitled for their deposit back. They don't lose their deposit. They are within their rights. Most of the time when a buyer goes back to the seller through their agent and say, these are a lot of repairs, we really would like to either work something out or walk away. If a seller is wanting to sell, they'll probably be willing to either do the big ticket items or lower the price. So just have a good agent on your side to negotiate that so you're not losing you know, money that way. And there you go, right there, good agent, she knows it. Is there anything you'd like to share with us if you were to give a newly, uh, newlyweds any words of wisdom, what would you say to them? I would say make home ownership a priority. It gives you a great satisfaction Start by getting pre-qualified, don't be scared. It doesn't cost anything to get pre-qualified. Get an idea of what payment you're comfortable with and then call a realtor to help you find a new home. 
uh, it's always, it's a sense of pride and a satisfaction not to live at someone's mercy. Wonderful. Ramsa Corey, thank you so much for coming on The Wedding Show. This is Hope Roski with Central Valley Talk. We'll be right back with you with Rocco Pellilli, who is the owner, restaurateur of one of my, well, it is my favorite Italian restaurant in Fresno. It's called Avidia's. We'll be right back with you.